Okay, this is Stocks Trader for StocksPoker.com. I think this is video 86. I am playing three tables of 510 limit hold'em at absolute and one table of 1020. I am on another 1020 waiting list. Uh, that seems to be all that's going right now. So if I get a chance to swap out one of the 510s for a 1020, I'll do that. Ace jack off. I'm in a three bet versus a hijack open and a small blind cold call. Take the initiative and see what happens. I flop second pair and I'll probably just try to bet for value. Not an ideal flop, but certainly no complaints. Called quickly by the first player. Um, I think that one spot, one play to make here is to check and call because of the flop call. He didn't raise to try to shut me out. He called. He's either on a draw, in which case I might get him to bet, or if I bet out, I, or he has a big hand, and in which case I am avoiding paying the maximum to draw. So he had queen 10, so he called the flop basically with top pair, and my read was correct, saved me a bet, I guess. Um, because he would have raised the turn when he made two pair, but he didn't raise there to try to shut out the third player. He just called and he called pretty quickly. So check calling down after that, I think, was the was the play. Queen two off in a three five structure, pretty close, but the three five structure, I'm just gonna err on the side of playing aggressive. Jack three off. Uh, in a blind battle. Um, kind of an interesting spot here. I flop a gut shot on an ace queen 10 board. Um, I can make a delayed bluff. I can just call. What I'm going to do is raise the flop, take a free card on the turn if I get called. And if I get three bet, I'm just going to call because I now have odds to try to spike and I'm done on the turn if I miss. Ace 8, I open raised. 10 9 5 flop, not a great flop for me. I get raised on the flop and I'm not going to continue from there. Ace King, pretty easy open. 